everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for april 1st 2022 and today we are back again with our previous tabular format as many of you requested a lot for this pattern so i hope now you would like it so let's start which country recently approved a bill to provide 52 billion dollars in subsidies for the semiconductor chips manufacturing so the us senate passed a bill to provide 52 billion dollars in subsidies for the semiconductor chips manufacturing and the legislation was sent to the house of representatives to launch a formal process known as conference okay so the chip shortage has disrupted production across the globe as we know so the senate earlier passed chips legislation in the month of june 2021 that also authorized 190 billion dollars to strengthen the us technology and research okay now in the next slide we'll see some of the important questions tejas skilling project to train the overseas indians was launched in which country first of all what does tejas stands for it is training for mrs jobs and skills fine so this country is ua which country is the winner of 2022 saff under 18 women's championship so the winner for this event is our india which country has recently abolished its controversial golden passport scheme answer is bulgaria basically it offers citizenship of the european union member state in return for substantial investment so european commission has called for the abolition of such a scheme as they provide ways for money laundering fine so now it has been abolished as per the recent government data which state has the highest number of odf plus villages in the country as of 2022 so till now the highest number of odf plus villages are in the state of telangana then at second place telangana is followed by tamil nadu and then it is followed by madhya pradesh okay according to a survey performed by the international finance corporation and the dhaka stock exchange which country tops the list in south asia in terms of women on board of listed companies so the country from south asia that has topped in terms of women that are present on the board of listed companies is bangladesh okay in jakarta india signed a second security conversation with which country so recently india has signed this conversation with indonesia which country has entered the brics new development bank as the fourth new member answer is egypt you have to tell me who has taken the brics presidency for the year 2022 do let me know in the comments next question indian agriculture towards 2030 book was launched by niti aayog along with which institution so union minister for agriculture and the farmers welfare mr narendra singh tomar released a book titled as indian agriculture towards 2030 pathways for enhancing farmers income nutritional security and sustainable food and farm systems okay so this book captures the outcomes of the dialogue by niti aayog and the ministries of agriculture and farmers welfare and fisheries animal husbandry and dairy and was facilitated by the 
food and agricultural organization of the united nations you have to tell me where does the headquarters of fao lie so talking about niti ayog let's see some of the important points which organization has collaborated with the niti ayog's atal innovation mission to host atal innovation missions flagship program so for this purpose niti ayog has collaborated with kit x niti ayog has launched the first ever open to all hackathon event for developing the creative solutions for the fintech sector in collaboration with which organization so for the very first time niti ayog has partnered with phone pay to organize this open to all hackathon event to create solutions for the fintech sector niti ayog released the north eastern region district sustainable development goal index with support from which institution so this has been released in support with united nations development program which state has the best overall health performance in niti ayog's health index answer is kerala can you tell me which state was the worst performer in this index niti ayog announced that it is set to establish or it will be establishing 1000 atal tinkering laboratories in which state or union territory so 1000 atal tinkering laboratories would be set up in jammu and kashmir according to a recent report released by the niti ayog for karnataka state which district of karnataka ranks first in the poverty index in the kalyan karnataka region answer is yadagiri okay and last question says as per the niti ayog's latest report what percent of indian population is identified as multidimensionally poor so 25% of the indian population are poor at multidimensional level fine next question the pradhan mantri sangrahalay is located in which state or union territory so pradhan mantri sangrahalay which is a kind of museum that has been dedicated to prime ministers of india is said to be inaugurated on 14th of april to coincide with bhim rao ambedkar's birth anniversary and it has been built on 10000 square meter land adjacent to the nehru memorial museum in delhi and this museum covers the life and times of all the 14 indian prime ministers so far so the museum which is being built at a cost of 271 crore rupees was approved in the year 2018 and it is to be built in new delhi fine so talking about some of the important schemes prime minister narendra modi inaugurated the gobardhan or you can say bio cng plant in which a state with a capacity of 550 tons and a budget of 150 crore rupees so this bio cng plant would be set up in indore in the state of madhya pradesh and the capacity would be 550 tons and this would be created at a budget of 150 crore rupees what is the main objective of prime minister gati shakti national master plan answer is infrastructure development which is the nodal agency for implementing ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana so the nodal agency for this scheme is national health authority pm kusum scheme is associated with which union ministry first of all kusum stands for kisan urja suraksha evam uthan maha abhiyan and this is related to ministry of new and renewable energy which organization has partnered with the akshay patra foundation for effective implementation of pradhan mantri poshan scheme so akshay patra foundation has partnered with united nations world food program so as to implement the pm poshan scheme properly what is the financial outlay for the pm gati shakti national master plan this is very important as we have seen that this year our budget focused a lot on this master plan and answer is 100 lakh crore rupees pm cares for children scheme is implemented by which union ministry so this is implemented by ministry of women and child development the minister for whom is smriti irani next question the constitution st order amendment bill was recently passed to include darlong tribal clan in the st list in which particular state 
So the Lok Sabha passed a bill to include the Darlong, which is a tribal clan in Tripura, in the list of scheduled tribes. And the Constitution Order Amendment Bill 2022 was an amendment to the Constitution Scheduled Tribes Order 1950. And this bill, which was tabled in the Parliament by Union Tribals Affairs Minister Arjun Munda, sought to include the Darlong community as a sub-tribe of the Kuki tribal community. Okay. Now coming to the question slide, who won the Asian Billiards title for the eighth time recently? Answer is Pankaj Adwani. Who is the world's third largest producer of billionaires? Answer is India. Which country recently received a $1 billion credit line from India to help pay for the critical imports? So recently Sri Lanka has received a $1 billion credit line from India. Which nation is making a $42 billion investment in India? This country is Japan. What is the India's global ranking in terms of billionaire population according to the Knight Franks, the Wealth Report 2022? It is same as of second question, answer is third. Which country recently signed the Virtual Assets Bill legalizing cryptocurrencies? So this bill has been passed in Ukraine and now cryptocurrencies have been legalized there. Which state recently passed bill for the postponement of local body elections until reservation is restored? This is Maharashtra. Fine. Next question. Which city is the host of the Mega International Summit on MSMEs 2022? So Ministry of MSME, Government of India and the Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India, Ahmedabad, have together organized a mega international summit on MSMEs at the India International Center, New Delhi. Okay, so this two day summit was attended by entrepreneurs, academicians, policy makers, industry leaders, industry associations, startups, social impact organizations, MSMEs, and self help groups from India and across the world. Okay. So let's see some of the important summits and conferences. Which city is the host of Wings India 2022 conference? So the host for this event was Hyderabad. Which city is the host of the International Geological Congress session of 2022? Answer is New Delhi. Which city is the host of 2022 meeting of the Convention on Biological Diversity? Answer is Geneva. Switzerland. Which Indian city is the host of 44th World Chess Olympiad in 2022? Answer is Chennai. Which country is the host of FIFA World Cup 2022? So this would be taking place in Qatar. Which city is the host of Sahitya Utsav Literature Festival? This festival was recently organized in New Delhi. Which country is the host of International Election Visitors Program? Answer is India. And last question says, which city hosted the Dialogue Towards Clean Air Session of Environment Ministry? So this has been hosted by Gurugram. And one important thing regarding Gurugram is, the headquarters of International Solar Alliance also lies in Gurugram, Haryana. Now, which is the 101st country to join our ISA? Answer is USA. And you have to tell me, which is the 102nd country, which is also the latest country to join the International Solar Alliance? Do let me know in the comments and let me give you a hint. It is a Caribbean nation. Next question. A new project to enhance climate resilience of coastal communities has been initiated across which states? So the center has initiated a project across the states of Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra and Odisha to enhance the climate resilience of coastal communities and the project has been undertaken at a total cost of 130 million dollars or you can say 1000 crore rupees which includes a grant of 43 million dollars by the global climate fund okay so it covers 24 ecosystems in these states to protect and restore the natural ecosystems like mangroves and 
Sí, gracias. Okay. So talking about some of the important climate related questions, which Indian city released a climate action plan and laid down 30 year roadmap to tackle the challenges of climate change? This city is Mumbai. As per the Deloitte 2022 sustainability report, the disconnect between ambition and impact, Indian businesses rank dash in their concern for climate change. So we rank at fifth in terms of our concern for the climate change. Which institution released a report on climate change that is dubbed as Atlas of Human Suffering? This has been released by IPCC. Which country's researchers have found out that climate change is driving plants to flower earlier? This has been done by UK. Which institution released the G20 People's Climate Vote 2021 report? It has been released by United Nations Development Program. Who has been announced as the first UNDP India Youth Climate Champion? Answer is Prajakta Kohli. She is an Indian YouTuber and content creator. Which institution released the Climate of India during 2021 report? Answer is IMD. Next question. Which Indian personality has featured in the Time 100 Impact Awards. So Indian actor Deepika Padukone was honored at the Time 100 Impact Awards for her work on mental health through her organization named as Live Love Love Foundation. Okay. So this is the second honor by the Time magazine for her. And talking about the Time 100 Impact Award, it honors the global leaders who have gone above and beyond to move their industries and the world forward. Okay. Now talking about some of the important awards, which Indian personality has been appointed as the chairperson of Air India? Many times I have told you this is N. Chandra Sekaran. Right? Sandhya Mukherjee, who recently passed away, was a famous personality in which profession? Answer is music. And why she is important? Because during the Padma Awards 2022, she was honored with Padma Bhushan, but she refused to accept it, right? Can you tell me the name of two other personalities who have refused to accept the Padma Awards? The Karnataka Kannada Writers and the Publishers Association presented the prestigious Mudran Ratna Award 2021 to which famous personality in Karnataka? This is Loin. B. R. Ashok Kumar. Which famous personality has been named as the Times Person of the Year? This is Elon Musk. Who was Google's most searched for personality in India in 2021? Very famous Neeraj Chopra, the javelin thrower. Which personality topped the Forbes rankings of 100 most powerful women of the world? Answer is Mackenzie. Scott. Can you tell me in this particular ranking, what was the rank of our finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman? Which actor is the recipient of Indian Film Personality of the Year Award at the International Film Festival of India 2021? Answer is actress Hema Malvi. And last question says, Shuttler's flick making every match count is the autobiography of which famous personality? This is the book of Gopi Chand. Fine. Which is the first Indian city to get a road that is made of steel waste? So Surat has become the first in India to get a road that is made out of steel waste. And it is seen as an example of sustainable development. So the road is built by Argelor Mittai Nippon Steel India with CSIR that is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, CRRI means Central Road Research Institute with support from Ministry of Steel and Government Think Tank, Niti Ayo. Right. Next question, Varnika Inc. Manufacturing Unit of Bharti Reserve Bank Note Mudran Private Limited has been inaugurated in which city? So, RBI Governor Shakti Kant Das dedicated Varnika to the nation in Mysore. 
and it is a wholly owned subsidiary of Reserve Bank of India. So this has set up the Vernica with an annual ink manufacturing capacity of 1500 metric tons to enhance the security of bank notes. And it aims to achieve the cost efficiency and reduced import dependency. Fine. So talking about RBI, which institution collaborated with the RBI Innovation Hub to support the fintech startup? Answer is IIT Bombay. Which company has been the first prepaid payment instrument insurer to achieve complete RBI mandated interoperability for its prepaid payment instruments? So the first insurer to do so is Livequick. Which bank has been punished by the RBI for data breaches involving Chinese companies? So recently Paytm has been penalized for this. Which feature of UPI was launched by the RBI for the phone users? Answer is 123Pay. The RBI Innovation Hub has signed memorandum of understanding with which institution to promote the financial inclusion? So for this purpose, RBI Innovation Hub has signed with IIT Madras. Who will lead the RBI's newly formed distinct internal fintech department? Do remember that recently RBI has created a new department called fintech department and it would be headed by Mr. Ajay Kumar Chaudhary. Which bank was recently approved by the RBI for international remittance business? So recently Fino Payments Bank has got the approval to do international remittance business. Fine. Next question. Bali Katan is a joint military drills held between the forces of US and which country? So the defense forces of US and the Philippines launched their largest joint military drills in the Philippines named as Bali Katan 2022. And this 12 day war games involve nearly 9000 Filipino and American soldiers. So it will cover the maritime security, life free training, various type of operations and counter terrorism as well as humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. Okay. Now talking about some of the important exercises, the military exercise of NATO named as cold response 2022 has commenced in which country? This has been commenced in Norway. Lamithia 2022 is the joint military exercise between India and which country? This is the exercise between India and Seychelles. Which country successfully launched military satellite NO2 into the orbit? NO2 satellite belong to Iran. Dharma Guardian exercise is an annual military exercise between India and which country? So this is the exercise between India and Japan. Which group of countries participate in the Sea Dragon 22 military exercise? Answer is Indo-Pacific countries. Which institution developed the biojet fuel which has been approved for use on the military aircraft of Indian Air Force? Answer is Indian Institute of Petroleum. Where is the military exercise? Dakshin Shakti being held. Recently it took place in Jaisalmer which is in Rajasthan. Okay. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minuzat Sana signing off.